finding a posture that brings a little energy into the moment with our attention, but at the same time, allowing a bit of a settling or softening into this moment. And just as a way to transition from our day into practice, I invite you to bring your attention to your breath. Just the natural flow of breath and notice where you're connecting with your breath. How are you connecting? Is it through a particular part of the body? be at the nostrils, it could be inside the nostrils or the area just below them. You may be connecting with the breath through the sound of your own breathing. Perhaps in the upper chest rib cage and lung area or the belly. And you may be experiencing the breath more globally throughout the entire body. Maybe even beyond the physical boundary of your body. And just for the next few breaths, I'd invite you to gently invite the exhalation to lengthen. So just taking a natural inhalation. And then gently inviting the exhale to last longer than the inhale. And if it's helpful, you can count in your mind the length of the inhalation. And then invite the exhale to lengthen, maybe up to double the inhale, but not forcing. Just a very easy attention on the breath. Nothing needs to be any different than it, than it is in this moment. And if the mind is wandering and has a bit of momentum, then if you're not counting in your mind, you can start to do that to help anchor your attention to the breath. So we're going to, during this practice, work with cultivating or creating positive emotions. And we're going to use our thoughts. So taking control of the mental images in the inner visual space, of the mental talk or sounds. We're going to create thoughts that we feel will likely result in a positive, loving, kind feeling within us. So it could be so simple as picturing your favorite flower of a beloved pet, a place in nature,
you might hear a mantra or prayer in the inner auditory space. You can find a single word to repeat to yourself. <clears throat> be relax or peace, love, healing. And you could combine the auditory and visual elements of thought. You could picture a person that's dear to you saying, I love you, I appreciate you. Sharing a moment from the past, perhaps, or imagining a moment that has not happened. So we can be very creative. And we don't have to go for huge, epic, earth-shattering emotions. We could go for a feeling of lightness and humor, of friendliness, gratitude, appreciation, love, caring, compassion. connection, tranquility, so if you're able to generate a positive emotion, if you like you can then bring your focus into the body. Bring your focus to cover the entire body globally and see if you can connect with how that positive emotion is expressing itself somatically. So if I'm enjoying a feeling of, say, joy that I cultivated Just doing my best to discover sensations in my body that are related to that emotion. So I might feel a lightness, say through my chest, spaciousness. I might feel a little upward motion at the corners of my mouth, a very subtle inner smile. I might feel waves of energy radiating from my solar plexus. And these can be very subtle sensations, or they may be more intense. And we don't need for them to be intense. So even connecting to very subtle experiences of positive can be very significant. And it's a wonderful way to develop our attention skills, our ability to concentrate where we deem relevant in this moment. So if we're able to use our thoughts, and we ride that wave of emotion for as long as it lasts, because inevitably it will fade and come to an end. 
so we stay present as that emotion begins to lessen and pass and allow that to happen, to not grasp or cling. And then we can, again, cultivate a thought. It can be the same thought. We can try a different thought. And if we're practicing this technique and we're just not able to cultivate a positive emotion, then that's a beautiful opportunity to practice equanimity, to allow that to be just as it is and to not fall into judgment around that or preference. So we repeat the sequence of cultivating the positive emotion using our thoughts and then focusing on the physical sensations that are present related to those positive emotions and repeating each time that wave of positivity comes to an end. And if while practicing, you're finding that the opposite is coming up for you, that there are negative emotions coming up, that's very common during this practice. So it can be an opportunity to let go. Let go of the attention from that emotion, perhaps the story behind it, and start again. See if you can find perhaps a different direction to go in to try to cultivate a positive emotion. This particular practice can offer enormous insights into our barriers to allowing ourselves to experience loving kindness we are practicing cultivating these emotions to help kind of train our emotional circuitry in the brain in order to make loving kindness available to us.
this practice may feel like we're swimming upstream if we're finding ourselves experiencing negative thoughts, negative emotions. But this can be thought of as an antidote meditation. So if your attention wanders to distractions, maybe sensations in the body that are not related to a positive emotion, to thoughts unrelated to the practice, just gently bringing the attention back as soon as you realize it's happened. And you bring the attention into the body to connect with the sensations arising related to your emotions. You can investigate. Oh, I'm feeling a sensation in the area of my heart. It feels like perhaps there's a bubbling there or waves, tingling, spaciousness. These sensations may feel like they have a shape to them that you can become aware of. An intensity that may fluctuate, they may spread and grow They may shrink and fade, move to other parts of the body. So as we hang out with a particular sensation happening in the body, become very interested and curious does happiness feel like in this moment? What does compassion feel like? What does humor feel like? Gratitude, love. And allowing yourself to be surprised. Don't assume anything. If you're finding there seems to be something holding you back, And cultivating positivity. See if you can become aware of those obstacles, those stories, those emotions. 
And for these next few minutes, just see if you can drop them. Just let them kind of be in the background. Not becoming concerned with those at this time. Just really focusing on positive thoughts and emotions. <clears throat> Perhaps we're experiencing some resistance to fully opening our heart to ourselves in this moment. See if you can allow yourself the experience of love and compassion. Give yourself permission. You don't need to earn this. It's nothing to pay. We're completely entitled to trust your own capacity here for love. For unconditional love. Love that's not dependent on anyone or anything. And there may be times we practice a technique such as this and we're just not able to cultivate positivity. So again, just allowing that to be. Just continue with the practice as best we can. Trying to trigger positive emotions, but allowing whatever's happening in the moment to be as it is. So being okay for those days that it's just not available to us, but not letting that discourage us from the practice. In fact, perhaps seeing it as an invitation to weave a metta or nurture positive practice into our meditation routine. <clears throat> 